The Halo TV show is finally seeing its reveal this weekend. While you're getting such bad lag in your Halo Infinite games, and Halo Infinite has the largest Halo launch of all time. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everyone? Kevin here once again giving you some more Halo news as we always do on the channel here. If you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really helps out the video and channel. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So we finally got some news about the Halo TV show, which I'm incredibly excited about. I'm so excited to do like reviews and stuff like that on this channel about the show and give you guys more information about it as well. Well, the official trailer of the Halo TV series lands this Sunday during the halftime of the AFC Championship game on CBS and Paramount Plus, which I did have to look up when this would come around. So it'd be Sunday, January 30th, this Sunday at 12.05 Pacific Standard Time. So that'd be 3.05 Eastern, and also that would make it 8.05 in the British time zone. Obviously this is during halftime, so the most likely the commercial will probably happen around like one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And you best believe I'll be breaking down the trailer for you guys. I might not be able to show it just because of copyright issues, which I had an issue with previously when it comes to that preview trailer that happened a few weeks ago. Since production companies like Paramount and MGM and things like that are very protective of their IPs on YouTube. So I might not be able to show it, but I might be able to show images. We'll just have to see how I can get away with it. I know quite a few people out there have concerns with the TV show not being canon and creating its own timeline called the Silver Timeline. And I wish as well that this show would be part of canon, but the difficulties with that is that when you're making a TV show, there's some logistical differences that you need to make when it comes to making a TV show compared to the original source material. This happens all the time when it comes to movies and TV shows. This happened with The Walking Dead. This happened with Game of Thrones as well, where cut some characters were cut some characters were changed characters were even merged together and things like that because when you're making a live action show sometimes you need to make kind of artistic choices for it to fit the format of the show of live action a little bit better which totally makes sense this is very par for the course when it comes to making tv shows and movies based off of like books and video games and things like that but i say don't judge a book by its cover let's wait until we actually see the trailer see some episodes and actually judge the show on its performance rather than a trailer or what we think about it right now and for this reveal, I'm fully expecting to see a release date announced as well when we can expect to see this TV show finally go live. We do know it's going to happen in the first half of 2022. I believe actually they might have mentioned first or second quarter. I'm feeling like a March time frame, but cross my fingers and I want to see what happens. But of course, once we get some concrete information about the show this Sunday, you know I'll be making a video about it. Next, we have a reason why you might be getting some high ping servers when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. I've been coming across this quite often as well, where a lot of times I'll get into servers that are like 160, 190 ping and things like that. And it looks like I'm not the only one because a fellow content creator, iSpyful, says he's literally unplayable right now because he keeps getting servers like 120 to 250 ping every single match. The reason why you're getting these high ping servers brought up here by community manager Unicheck saying, I just confirmed that this was because of players geo filtering in your matches. That is not intended and the team is working to address this quickly due to the rough experience these bad actors are creating for everyone else in the match. We'll share more info soon. That's probably brings up the question, well, why would I just add in like a server selector like we have with MCC? Well, we actually had a Twitter user named Mr. Bear, fellow friend of the show and Twitch streamer as well. Same for people like in areas like in Asia and Australia, that would be very useful to have a server selector to be available. And you kind of goes a round way of saying it, saying that these initial matches with bad ping should have been fixed on our side fairly quickly after launch. I'd put good money that any match on that high of a ping nowadays are due to bad actors, which I feel is kind of the case when it comes to this whole situation. I remember when they added in the server selection when it comes to the MCC, a lot of people praised it. I thought it was a good feature as well, but the thing is that I never really used it in MCC because I never got pings like over 90, like rarely into the hundreds. I think almost never. Of course, I'm based in the US up in Seattle, as you can probably tell right here. And with Halo being a very North American focused community as well, that I never really have the issue of coming across like high pings. So when I get servers that are like 160, 190 ping, I'm like, okay, something weird is happening here. I'm like you're literally telling me I can't find anyone in the United States of America who is playing free for all at the same time. This happened like the other night. I got like back to back 170 ping servers when I'm like based in the US playing during the day. I just have a feeling there's six other people playing free for all at the same time, you know what I mean? And the reason why you're getting these bad servers is because the way geo filtering people are doing with the routers and things like that, 
that's what's happening and hopefully this gets addressed when it comes to that mid-february patch update we don't have any concrete information on what exactly is taking place in that but we do know that there's things like the store being looked at anti-cheat server side like engineering issues and things like that to kind of help fix up the game a little bit but you best believe once we get some concrete information i'll share it with you guys here on the channel and for the last bit of halo news today guys halo infinite had the biggest launch of all time well according to microsoft saying with over 20 million spartans joining us so far we're thrilled to announce that halo infinite is the biggest launch in halo franchise history thank you everyone for joining us on the next step in this great journey which came from some amazing art from our friend william aka pixel flare so i'm sure hearing that information i'm sure a lot of people will point to this going like well, what the heck is this huh this isn't exactly 20 million people playing Halo Infinite. And you'd be correct because these are only the Steam numbers. And with the recent peak player count of 32,000 on Steam, that puts it kind of up more around here in this area. Ranging anywhere from like DayZ, Valheim, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Elder Scrolls Online, those kind of range of population right there. So not exactly like the highest, but certainly on like the top 50, I'd say. But one thing you have to keep in consideration are the Xbox numbers. You have to think that Halo's mainly played on the console, right? And it's only behind Fortnite, Warzone, Grand Theft Auto, and was ahead of Apex Legends for quite some time. And now it's kind of sitting real nice in the fifth slot right behind Apex Legends on the most played games on Xbox. Obviously we don't have the numbers, but it's still showing a solid population out there. Now I'm not sure if those numbers take in consideration Game Pass as well, but I would say that Halo Infinite's launch was rather successful when it comes to population. I know I was talking about high pings, usually with an issue when it comes to low population, you get high pings, but I think that's more of a geo-filtering issue rather than anything else. But this announcement definitely reminds me of the time when Halo 5 launched, and they said that it was the largest launch of all time. And people were like, no freaking way, it's not. And well, there's some data to kind of showcase why it might just be. Because we can see right here some of the demographics when it comes to just people who play games. I'm pretty sure this is just gaming overall, right? If you play on mobile, you're a gamer. If you play on PC, you play on console, you play on a phone, you play on a tablet, you're a gamer, right? So you get added into this poll right here. And you can just see how in 2015, there were 2 billion people who considered themselves gamers. And that number, added, they're planning to add on an extra billion amount of people playing video games by 2022 and reaching over 3 billion by 2023. Well, I think the reason why each Halo game seems to be the largest Halo game of all time because more people are playing video games. I know a lot of people want to point to like that one image that shows like Halo 3, 1 million players live at one time. Like, yeah, that was day one. I'm guessing by these numbers, we probably had over a million people playing Halo Infinite on day one as well. And the fact of the matter is that people still want to play Halo. It might not be a large of a population when it comes to percentage-wise of people playing Halo like we had like back in the Halo 3 days, but it's still great to see that every game that we release, more people are playing Halo. It's better to see that number go up than, well, go down. So it's just great to see that there is still a huge interest in this 20-year-old franchise that people still want to play Halo, like myself. I'm addicted. I can't stop playing it. Plus, I love how I love playing Halo Infinite, too. It's just like it's a really good multiplayer and great campaign, which we play every Tuesday and Thursday on my Twitch channel. If you guys want to come by and check us out, Hope to see you there. But if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.